Okay, you guys, we're back with puppy school. So after I did the video this morning, then I go back there and <coughs> Elaine wanted her deposit back. If you said, what did you say? And I said, who could blame her? I got it back to her as quickly as possible. So now Buttercrunch is available, but I need to, it's gonna have to be, things happen for a reason. Oh my God. You little peanut. You little peanut. What if you said, where's your pan? I know, where's my pan? Peanut, Misty, Joe. Oh, she's all spooked. These are richer treats. I know that's what I'm looking for. Ay, ay, ay. She said, I have to always hide them. Anyway, let me just see. <laughs> Shoe bottom got that chicken I cut up. We just, if you said, what do you mean? When you, apparently, just when I turn my back. Okay, hang on, I'm back, sorry. All right, let me get on. Hi, Robin. 
Right, listen, let me get on. Uh, yeah, tell Tommy, I, I've got that one little bit older puppy, but he needs to understand. I'm not going to respond when people just come at me with one word. <laughs> interested, interested. You're, you're going to have to do more than that. It's, if you said you're just sitting around doing nothing, so get over yourself. Ay, ay, ay. All right, where's that makeup one? I don't have to wear makeup anymore. No more costly makeup. Now, just Estee Lauder. Okay, so, got a couple things going on. I have to decide what am I gonna work on. I can get my little tray and work on my delivery. Even going in here though, I'm not going straight at the puppy saying, oh, I love puppies. <laughs> Nothing like that. I'm even angled away from the puppy. I'm even angled away. I, I'm not trying to come at him. It's, it's, you're gonna, the reason I have the level of engagement that I do is by doing that. Not just seeming to be so needy. Look at your tail. Look at your tail. There is something about this puppy though. It's, if you said, well, it's the way you conditioned it, it's very similar to that puppy, Mila. I'll remember that puppy for the rest of my life. I, call, I called it the self-training puppy. Mm -hmm. If you said it acted very similar to this one. Yeah, it did. It really, really did. And if you said, well, that's how all dogs act. That hasn't been my experience. The, the motivation to try to figure out what you want. You've got to cultivate that. If you're all about, here's what I don't want, well, you're cultivating the, here's what they don't want. He puts it right in my hand. If you said, what am I saying? I'm saying I have to be careful because if he gets tired, he might take it over to the bed. So if you said, what can I do from here? I can even kind of scoot over this way. I'm kind of going away. If you said, well, if he decided he might try to take it that way, I'd have a better shot of, whoops, I started to drop the tree uh -oh. Uh-oh, <laughs> you little beta. If you said your plan failed, oh, it for sure. You said, what can you do? Just completely change the location. You said, well, he can only exit one of those two ways. I do it in the, whoops. I do it in the kitchen, too. If you can use that footstool and kind of make, so not look, I got a completely different dynamic. If he isn't going to go, and he's going to go through his face with me anyway. So. You know, you have to be able to catch him, but, you know, you're not, you're just changing the scene. You're, you're thinking of yourself like a director. Okay, let's move the props around, change the scene. Let's put this actor over here. I like this actor over here better now. But I'm saying to myself, if he goes this way, which he was prone to go to that bed, I'm right there. Oh, he lays down. But I'm purposely giving it to him while I'm not looking. If you said, what is this? Oh, is that aware? It can give me the treats without even looking at me. So he hears the noise. Okay, so look at the face just kills me. All right, so if you said get him to lay down. to make this, but he's getting ready to lay down. Watch him. It's, it's too cute. The fact that he already gets on the platform, too. If you said, would you try to get... I don't think he would try to get a little puppy and try to get him going up here because it would be, you know, if I saw somebody doing that, I'd probably say, oh, you need to get a smaller one. <laughs> I'd say, you need to climb junior. But the fact that he already does it on his own. If you said he might go get up there, he might. This has a super cute face. I should just keep the camera on him all the time, don't you think? 
and the magnesium start playing. So if you said no, you know, the, the handler really needs to disappear. If you said no, 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 I just stay there until the dog gets sick of me. <laughs> if you said, are there any adages that I can go by? Yes, absence makes the heart grow worse. If you leave just a little bit, you're not there anymore. You're just, you're not there. So this is how it was done. Misty! And then he goes out the door. He said, how that happens all the time. He said, well, the same thing. Uh-oh, here comes Luke. All right, get in here. <laughs> so you're just, you're structuring this coming and going situation. So where's your chicken? Where's my chicken? If you said, well, but are you just bending down, rubbing the dog? No, we're not bending down, rubbing the dog every time. Uh-oh, this nails are caught. Oh, that's his teeth, you little monster. You little peanut. Okay, I'm gonna get my treats. So if I come in, I'll see if I can get him over to this platform. Because he goes, oh, I'm going here. This is the exact same behavior from earlier. That was basically your footstool right there. I could just feel that I could get him to do it, so I did it. If you said, what about just, if he didn't do it, and you just kept saying, get up there, get up there, that wouldn't be good, I promise you. I do think, if you're there, Mike, this grass on the top, if it wasn't for the grass, he wouldn't be able to get up there. If you said, but what kind of training is that? It's called picture training, when you need him to pose. It's a default behavior, though. Look at the front legs. It's got the Macarena legs. It's got the Macarena legs. It's, it, if you said it would be more effective to force it to stay up there. I don't think it would. I really don't. I don't think it would. It's choosing to stay there. I mean, that is what this, this is what this climb sells itself as. Ah, uh, dogs are looking for a higher vantage point, which is true. Which is true. But you've got to introduce it the right way. I mean, I honestly, like Angus will sit down, lay down right next to me, and I like that, watch. For service, that's what you want. Look, he saw the paw. You said, should you react to that? No, you saw it didn't work at all. It didn't work at all, and that's what, I guess that's probably where you're going wrong, Christine. You know, any of them are gonna kind of try that. If you said it does it to the stuffed toy, I don't take it personally. Exactly, <laughs> I don't take it personally. If the stuffed toy started fighting back, if you said, oh, they got that now. Oh, they do, they do. I've got that one of Benjamin with this puppet puppy thing that I got. If you said, where's it at now? It must not have survived. I haven't seen it since that video. <laughs> but it was just like this puppet puppy thing that you can make it jump around. If you said, oh, he was just going after it like it, yeah, yeah, he was. <laughs> Yeah, he was. <laughs> and, and, yeah, and they've got those like barking. You see those videos where they got like the barking, you know, the bark and play puppy thing or whatever. Or it's like some remote control puppy. 
And then they sit there and like turn it on when some dog's right there. All right, let's see if I can get him to come around with the noise. You little, you little helpful peanut. He's got to figure out how to get down right there. Look at him, look at me. I don't have any reaction. He said, what can I do? I can get, do something. I can help him by putting this thing right there. Watch. They know to step on those. I got him facing the right way. If he tries to go, I can get him. All right, now he's facing this way. So you're le he's less likely to go away if he's facing that way. You saw, though, they understand. That's how they originally got up there. Remember I had that big toy right there? And I came out here, and they were up there. And I said, oh, my God, how did you get up there? And I saw them. They were, you know, it was there, and then that big toy was right there. So they were just using it as a way to climb up there. But I'm better off to put that there and let him jump down than to try to say, oh, you better learn to be brave. <laughs> you better jump down. I don't want him jumping off there. I'm surprised they even get up there. <laughs> yeah. If you said, what do you want the time frame between the time it picks up the watch and gets the food? Not long. Not long. So I've kind of got a behavior going where he'll get up there. He said, what do you have to do? And he walks, you know, oops. And so, oh, he sees a little outside the door. He thinks any of them is the mother, really. Any, especially if it's any yellow lab. If he sees any yellow lab, it's the mother. All right, hang on. Let me get Lou in. Lou! So it's all it takes, really, is one. Lou! One word. to metal is always going to be the most effective. Oh, if there's some emergency, I can't find them. They did relate everything. If you said he took the second cue of the door opening, absolutely. Absolutely. If he said, well, I don't even, you know, if he said, what was he going by? The glass sliding door. No, they don't understand glass sliding door. He just heard the noise. They don't. You've seen these ones where the people have to pretend like they're opening a door because the dog thinks. They don't understand the glass sliding door. They don't. They'll run right into it. If you, because I have two sets of glass doors to get into the house. If I shut the second set, now I put stuff on it so it looks like a brick wall. But they would run right smack dab into it. They wouldn't see it. They used to have that with people. I remember I was at this one party one time. And this girl, I don't know if she's drunk or what, walked through this glass door. And was one of those old kinds. She was all cut up. They had to take her to the emergency room. She said it put a real damper on the party. Oh, for sure. Left right after that. You little peanut. Anyway, he's beyond cute, so. Catherine, I'll send you a message, but you know, you've, you're forming a relationship. Show that immediately. If he said, what if you wanted him to bring it this way? All I gotta do is stand right there. All I have to do is change my position. If he said, well, he just keeps getting it and going to this corner. Oh, here's an idea. Just be in the corner. <laughs> You little peanut. 
He puts it right in my hand. All right, let me get him laying down again. Okay, so how do we do that? I watch, I don't have any reaction to that. I start speaking dog. If you said, why, why does he? Apparently every other person on the planet wears leggings. Ah, I like bell bottom yoga pants. Christina's like, this is what Chester's doing. All right, so I have to quit moving my feet and I have to get him to lay down. I believe it though. I would be interested in doing testing where you did that holder monitor thing and you hooked yourself up to this monitor thing and see if it was synced up somehow and that was something you could push for. Yeah. If you said it'll never catch on. As easy it is as it is to make these heart rate monitors these days, I think it would. They already have collars that monitor the dog's heart rate. And they already have things that monitor the person's heart rate. Fitbit. And, and the Holter monitor for dogs, but now they've got one. I think they have a collar too. It monitored their heart rate and all these things. If you were completely out of sync. At least you can say on some level, I can try to take action and see if I'm making any progress. Nope, you're getting more out of sync. Okay, do something different. <laughs> you know what I mean? Do something different. Oh my God, the actions that you're taking is getting even, your heart rate is more out of sync with the dog than ever. You need to go back. You need to do something different. You see what I'm saying? If you said, how do I exit? I just kind of disappear. I don't say goodbye. Can I say goodbye? Can I say goodbye to you? If you said he sees you turning off all the lights, so he already knows, like, it's bedtime. <laughs> I'm sure he does. How can he do it? Anyway. You know, that's why you're starting, and you're not going to give him all these bully sticks and all these, uh-oh, he's on that flashlight. Uh, pig's ears and all these things like this. I used to do it too. I did. I'm guilty. I had that one. Dr. Harper. I'll go find Dr. Harper. Uh, his wife's my friend on Facebook. Remember that one time that German Shepherd ate about four of those pig's ears? I gave one to each dog, but of course, later figured out this dog had stolen all of them and gulped all of them down. If you said, what happened? It caused an interception. It couldn't digest them. If you said, what do you mean? Like you just ate like five pounds of bacon? <laughs> Probably. And just got stuck. Luckily, I rushed into Dr. Harper, and it's, you know, it's stupid. After that, I never give him pig's ears. He said, how long ago was that? That was a long, long time ago. Look, he's gone up there. You little peanut. If you said, do you want to re reinforce that behavior organically? Oh, absolutely. That's the photo behavior. That's how I get my picture-taking behavior. So I'm very specific about how I'm giving him the treat, though. I'm letting him know. It's just all... No obligation. Gotta go. See ya. <laughs> yeah, the more it does that behavior, the more it's going to do it. If you said, are you going to be able to keep it off that platform? No, they're not. It's going to go on there forever. If you said, how do I? I guess I've, ever, I've had this thing for like three years and the other ones, once they go on there, once they're successful going on there, if the most successful place within this area is right there, that's where they're going to go. It is. So, anyway, he's just super cute. He's got the nice, tight, shiny hair. And he's, he's a little bit darker, but now that the other ones are gone, he's still, like really dark, but he has a little bit more of the butter color. You little peanut! <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> to him, that was a big jump. I'm gonna do that though. You see, if I put the little stair right there, this thing was, this, the way it was when they were puppy, that was this thing. This thing was like right there by it. So it was just, it was very easy to get up on top of it. And if you had like the manners minder, if you said, how could you do it with the manners minder? 
You could just be in the other room. If you could just be in the other room and do the manners, I wouldn't even have to see you. That's an interesting idea. I got the manners minder working. Yeah, I hit the button one time and now it won't work anymore. <sighs> if you said seriously, yeah, seriously. I gotta find this stupid book and troubleshoot. But yeah, I hit the button one time, that red light came on and now it doesn't work anymore. Nothing I do can get it working again. <laughs> I just give up. If stuff is going to be that complicated, first off, nobody's going to use it every day. If it's just going to have to have all these big problems that are happening, you know. That one time I went on that manners minder board and said, mine would always get clogged if you said, what did they say? Ours too? No. Not a single one of them had ever had a problem. <laughs> I was the only one, apparently. If you said, are you still on there? No. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to go outside right now and do some uh, training. So, oh, hi, Corrine. Let me know what's going on with uh, Carolina. I haven't heard from her, but I was, if you said, what will I always remember about that visit? That she came on a Sunday? No. That she had clearly, and I mean clearly, watched what I had done and was able to duplicate it very, very easily. <laughs> if you said, oh, she's always been like that, I'd say, oh, I believe it. I take note of that. If you said, who else? That guy, Joe. He had definitely, was definitely. And Candlin too. I mean, it is hard. To, but again, I'm not that hard to copy. I tell people just like kind of try to do like a parody of me. It's just a lighthearted parody. <laughs> if you said a mean, vicious one. No, not mean and vicious. <laughs> you know, but you're just, it's my actions that are. They're not ever going to be able to speak English. And if you're just coming at them with, that's the, what we're going to speak, it's not going to work as good as this. I'm speaking the mother tongue from day one. So if you said, then what? Well, then we'll teach them, you know, English too. I just tell people it's like Spanglish. Once it has the behaviors, I can give them English names, so to speak. <laughs> you know, I don't want the behaviors are there. I can give them so-called English names, like sitting down and come to me or whatever. You know, it's just once the behavior is there. If you said, what if it's not there? Can you just shout the name of the behavior at it? No. <laughs> no, that doesn't work. Anyway, guys, I'll be back in a sec. I'll be right back and grab some more treats. <laughs>